video file for auction two th Abacus Auction 236, uh, lot number 957, uh, military, about 50 cards. This is the card illustrated in the catalogue. Uh, French trenches from the look of it. Rather nice. With the wooden uh, support there and no mud. That didn't last long. German gas alarm. Piece of corrugated iron. Gas alarm. The camp of the Australian soldiers before the pyramids. Anzacs in France, a burial on the battlefield. A camp of dugouts at Gallipoli. Looks almost appealing. Bombardment of Lowestoft in England. One damn thing after another. Poor old Kaiser. Australians parading for the trenches. Don't know why they would do that. And then there's this lot. French tank. Uh, Kent, the doorway of England. I wouldn't leave my little wooden hut for you. Okay. Kaiser's glorious achievement. It's a glorious achievement, as the Kaiser said, without harm to yourself to kill others instead. Bombs, pillage, plunder, shrapnel, fire and flame. It's a curse to the Germans we know by Louvain. And on and on it goes. Man of War stairs in Sydney. That would be well before World War I. That's probably when the US fleet visited in 1908, as is this card. Hot work by Australian gunners. A couple of Patriotics. Attractive cards. Bit of humour. Loading a trench mortar. Anzacs in France off to the trenches. Australian heavy gun at work. Well, if you know of a better old, go to it. Yes. Au revoir, he says. A soldier's testimony. It's a rather nice piece of ephemera. Nice silk. Another bombardment at Lowestoft. This one's dated April 25, 1916, which was the first Anzac Day. Uh, it's a bit grim. Two of them. Horrible. And there's the midget submarine in Sydney Harbour. Japanese card from the 1905 Franco-Japanese War. It's got a fault there. It's just a bit of a bump. And then these cigarette cards. War incidents. Including Australian. Maybe they're all Australians. Or Anzacs, anyway. Yeah. Good.